Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang multiplication of decimals. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Kung sa addition or subtraction of decimals, ay kailangan muna nating i-align yung decimal point bago tayo mag-add o mag-subtract. Sa multiplication of decimals, ay hindi natin kailangang i-align yung mga decimal point bago tayo mag-multiply. In fact, dinidisregard muna natin yung decimal point kapag nagmumultiply tayo ng decimal. And then, doon sa final answer natin, doon tayo maglalagay ng decimal point at ang location ng decimal point ay depende doon sa total number of decimal place value ng bawat factors. So, to illustrate these steps, let's solve some examples. So, for the first example, we have 2.3 times 4.5. So, gaya ng sinabi ko, the first step, disregard natin yung decimal point, meaning alisin muna natin sila. So, sa 2.3, magiging 23 lang siya, and then yung 4.5, magiging 45. And then, i-multiply lang natin sila the usual way. So, we have 5 times 3 is 15, carry 1. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11. 4 times 3 is 12, carry 1. Then 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Then let's add. So we have 5, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 1 plus 9 is 10. So dun sa final answer natin na 1035, dito tayo maglalagay ng decimal point. So saan natin ilalagay yung decimal point? So ngayon, babalikan natin yung mga factors natin. So bibilangin natin yung decimal place values ng bawat factor and then i-add natin sila. So sa 2.3, meron tayong isang decimal place value. So we have 1. Kasi tens lang. Then sa 4.5, we have 1 decimal place value. Kasi tens lang din. And then ito total natin yung number of place value ng dalawang factor. So, we have 1 plus 1 is 2. So, since yung total number of decimal place value ng dalawang factors natin ay 2, yun din yung magiging number ng decimal place value ng final answer natin. Or, i-assume natin na may decimal point sa dulo ng sagot natin at kung ilan nga yung nakuha natin decimal place value, I-move natin yung decimal point to the left at the same number of places as the total number of place value. Since 2 yung total number of place value natin, i-move natin yung decimal point ng 2 decimal places to the left. So, we have 10.35. So, therefore, our final answer is 10.35. Okay, let's have another example. Okay, we have 4.005 times 0.05. Okay, let's remove first the decimal point. So, we have 4.005 times 0.05. Or dahil 0 naman yung itong dulo, pwede na natin i-delete. So, we have 5 times 5 is 25 so carry 2 5 times is 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2 then 5 times is 0 is 0 and then 5 times is 4 is 20 okay since may product na tayo alam na natin kung saan natin ilalagay yung decimal point so bilangin natin yung decimal place value ng factors Sa 4.005, we have 3. Sa 0 0.05, we have 2. Therefore, the total number of decimal place value is 5. So, therefore, i-move natin yung decimal point dito sa dulo. 5 decimal place to the left. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dito natin ilalagay. So, therefore, uh, our final answer is... 0.20025 or pwede natin lagyan ng 0 to so 0 0.20025 
Okay, let's proceed sa another example. So, this time we have 2.50 times 11. So, again, alisin natin yung decimal point and then it times natin sila. So, we have 250 times 11. Let's multiply. 1 times is 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. And then 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 is 2. So, we will add now. So, we have 0. 5 plus 0 is 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. Then, bring down 2. So, therefore, our answer is 2750. Then, to determine where will we will put the decimal point, pilangan natin yung decimal place value nung mga factors. Sa 2.5, we have 2. Sa 11, wala. So, 0. Kasi wala siyang decimal point. So, the total number of decimal place value is 2 plus 0 or 2. So, therefore, imove natin yung decimal point to the left ng two decimal places. So, we have 1, 2. Therefore, our final answer is 27.5. 50. Let's have the next example. So now we have 1.52 times 1.4. Okay, remove natin yung decimal point. So we have 152 times 14. Then let's multiply. So we have 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 5 is 20. Carry 2. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Then 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 1 is 1. Then let's add. So we have 8, 0 plus 2 is 2, 6 plus 5 is 11, so carry 1, and then 1 plus 1 is 2. So our answer is 2, 1, 2, 8. Then bilangan na natin yung decimal place value ng mga factors. Sa 1.52, meron tayong dalawa. Sa 1.4, meron tayong isa. So, therefore, ang total number of decimal place values ay 3. So, ngayon, imamove natin yung decimal point to the left ng tatlo. So, we have 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, our final answer is 2.128. Okay, let's have the last example. So, we have 2.52 times 0 0.52. Okay, remove natin yung decimal point. So, we have 252 times 52. Okay, then let's multiply the usual way. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 5 is 10. Carry 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. Then 5 times 2 is 10. Carry 1. 5 times 5 is 25. Plus 1 is 26. Carry 2. Then 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. Then let's add. So we have 4. Then 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 6 is 11. Carry 1. Then 1 plus 2 is 3. Then 1. So therefore, the product is 13104. To determine kung saan natin ilalagay yung decimal point, bilangan natin yung number ng decimal place values din sa factors. Sa 2.52, meron tayong dalawa. Sa 0.52, meron din tayong dalawa. So, therefore, the total number of decimal place value is 2 plus 2 or 4. So, imove natin yung decimal point 4 places to the left. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, therefore, our final answer is 1.3104. Okay, so that is how to multiply decimals. Sana ay may tutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.